Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to talk about what's happening with the G4 to G5 changeover with respect to RMS mounting brackets. Okay, so everybody is probably familiar with this guy. So all white box, and this is the RMS single tank mount for the Radeon. It works with all versions of the Radeon up until now, that's the G4. And actually, in the case of the XR15, the original RMS bracket will work with the new XR15 as well because the fan is on the top of the XR15, so the uh, mount actually takes that into account. Now, you can see it's an all-white box, and it comes in two varieties, the XR15 version and the XR30 version. Now, in a couple months' time, that's going to be replaced with this. So this is the Gen 5 and previous model uh, mounting, single mount mounting bracket. Now this, both in the XR15 and XR30 version, will also work with all previous models of the Radeon. The major difference here is that the base unit of the bracket right here is exactly the same. But what's changed is this top part right here, which is, let me show you up close, this guy. So there is now a new version of this. There is an XR15 version, and actually I have one in a bag here, an XR30 version. Okay, now what you may see here is, let me show you contrasting the older one, is that it is no longer rotational like this. Instead, it slots on to the RMS rail using these tabs. Now what does that mean? That means that for a brief period, we're going to be having both the original RMS kits and potentially new RMS kits available. Now the kits are identical except for the mounting components. And for the most part, that's not a big deal because when you get a original mounting kit, you will also get an adapter pack. Now, on the case of the XR15, that's up to you whether or not you use it. In the case of the XR30, if you have a Gen 5, you will need this bracket. And the reason is, is because, as you'll notice on the original XR15 X bracket, this is actually the one for the multi-RMS, it's flat. And that's because there's no fan on the top of the G4 and before Radeons, whereas the G5 there is. So now we have this concave bracket. So now I'm going to show you how you use the adapter and also um, just go through the installation really quickly. So now we have our XR15 Lite, brand new G5. Here you go. As you can see, mounting positions exactly the same as the previous. In the case of the XR30, the mounting points are exactly the same, but now the XR30 looks a lot like the XR15 and the fans on the top. Show you what that looks like real quick. Here's your XR30. So if you're familiar with the Gen 4 XR30, the top is flat and you have the buttons there. Now the fan is on the underside on the Gen 4, on the Gen 5 it's on the top. So now we can no longer use the flat bracket for the G4 and before because it is going to obstruct that fan. So instead, we need to use one that has some arch to it, like so, and that will provide clearance for the fan. All right, so we're going to proceed with the XR15 here. So we have our RMS. All right, we're going to open this up. Now inside our traditional or original RMS kit, we have our instructions, we have the bracket, we have the arm, we have the extender arms. Now, in the case of the XR15, as I mentioned before, you can actually use the original bracket uh, just fine, but we're going to show, because it's the same on the 30 and the 15, how you would install this guy. Um, what that contains is three things, including this instruction sheet, very simple instructions showing you what to do, and we're going to do that in a second. The two screws to attach the end cap, 
and then the bracket and the end cap itself. So we open this up and here we go. This is our XR15 bracket. So that will be replacing this component. Exactly the same on the 30 kit. Now, if we we're gonna use this arm, you'll see the difference is that on the G4 version and before, this slots in like that into the end. On the G5, you have the ability to slot it in using the rails. Now it'll go like that, or it will also go like that. Now, showing that up close, you can see there's these tabs and then there's those channels, and then it will slide right on in like that. Now, that works just fine, but obviously we want to lock down this end so it doesn't slide off. So that's where this other part comes in. So here you go, there's the end cap, and it is really as simple as this. You just slide that on there. Now you have actually a little bit more of an extension on that rail than you did before. And you would just attach those two screws there, and now you have a G5 ready um, rail mount from the original RMS kit. Now, one other thing to just quickly mention is that if you are using the multi-rail RMS, and in this case, it's the XR30, but you can see, again, this is the XR30, and this is how it slides onto the rail. The uh, new version in the 30 is exactly the same. Here's one, except longer will slide on like this. Okay, that's it. Um, hopefully that was clear. And uh, you know, any questions, simply contact our customer service or visit our website because there'll be more information available there. Thank you.